got milk. Today we're gonna be opening one of these special milk cards of Iono. She's very predominant in the Scarlet and Violet era, hoping to pull one of the iconic cards of these SIR cards that this Temporal Forces, I think it's gonna be in here. If we don't get it here, we're gonna open a booster bundle. And I'm gonna announce the winner of the booster bundle in this video later, so stay tuned too. All right, here we go with this Iono milk carton. I've opened a couple of them before, um, so I know that there's some cool stuff in here. Oh, this is one of her coins. Wait a minute. That's really sick. So there's nothing out of the ordinary from most sets. Oof. I'm gonna put this card to the side here. We already know that promo. This is a dope. I was like, why is this heavy? But this is a dope deck box. That's actually really nice looking. Oh my god, I didn't think about because the other ones aren't that cool looking. I mean, I guess they're not that bad. Um this is one of the last ones I got, and it's... Oh, there's something in there, too. Uh, these are the little ones that I've gotten with Gyarados and... I was going to say Lance, but I know that's not Lance. And then the, the, the Professor one with the Minchino? Sinchino? See, this is the small one. This is what I was expecting, but... This is a lot better and a lot cleaner looking. That's awesome. You open it, and there you go. <laughs> there's the packs. We have one Temporal, two Temporals, Paradox... Obsidian Flames base set, and we have Lost Origin. Okay, so we we have a shot at the Jetina or the Aerodactyl. So that one's gonna be left here at the back. See what else is in here. Oh, that's it. Okay, there's there's some nice leads for for anyone that's into the Iono. This is like a selfie from her camera. Yeah, because look, it's the iPhone recording obviously in the scarlet and violet uh, video game you do see her play i'm curious to see i'm gonna test this out because that's the issue i always have for like some of these so oof actually it's pretty solid it's a clear matte finish so it's not like a foggy looking sleeve look at that dawn card so sick might have to pop into that one all right so let's see which one should we go so there's two temporal We'll leave Lost Origin for the end and just start from where they came from. So we'll go with Base Set. Base Set has the Miriam that went down in price like crazy. I remember when it first came out. Do white code cards matter for Scarlet? I don't think so. I don't. I don't think so. I mean, you guys go. Uh, there's some glimmer. There's some sheen there. You know, when it gets glimmer, my light's a little dimmer. Anyway, so let's go in all the way. Super Tandemoss, Growlithe, Smallive, Youngster, Blasphe, Ultra Ball, and a pun here. We have one more. Halucha. All right. Now we're going into the Obsidian Flames. Can we get another Charizard? When I first opened Obsidian Flames, it was probably one of the best sets for me. I pulled all four Charizards in like. A booster box, uh, just one sleeve pack, and the ETB. So yeah, one of my booster boxes in the earlier videos, you'll see that I was able to pull Palafin. Palafin's been getting a lot of love in these full art cards lately, but... And now we're Paradox Rift. That Salamence is tanking as well. Or the Roaring Moon, sorry. The Roaring Moon has been tanking as well. It's a great... It's a beautiful card. I think those, that new era of the ancient and future war cards, they've been really cool cards. And I was, I wasn't able to pull them. I ended up trading to get them. Man, this this milk carton is not, not what I expected. To be honest with you, I thought we were gonna get some better luck. But you know, when temporal forces, this is the latest set. Surprised we didn't get one fifty one in this. Uh, 151 is is making a comeback with most of the reprints, especially with Japanese and the English sets. I saw Costco had some uh, box set for the Zapdos and the Alakazam. Here we go. Great Tusk. Oof. <laughs> Just Maridon. But it's okay. We have a second pack right now. Let's go right into it, into the disappointment camera. Here we go. Litten, which is such a beautiful card, man. The full art card. 
you gotta love it. Sinchino, Future Booster Energy Capsule, Great Tusk, Col Colossal, Colossal. I I suck at pronouncing that. Dunsparce and Drampa. I actually did get the Drampa full art, which is super nice. You'll see it covering my face soon. And there's your code card. All right, Lost Origin, man. Is this box going to be the one? Is this pack going to be the reason we all go after this reprint of Lost Origin? Oof. Wait a second. No way. No, it's not. No, no. Come on now. This isn't. This isn't gonna happen twice in a row. Or I think it's. See, it's probably just a. Uh... Okay. Hmm. Oof. Nah. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. <laughs> I told you they would not do us like that and give us the the Jetina in in one shot. I knew that wasn't gonna happen. Oh, actually, check that beauty out. Now this is all that we actually wanted so far. This is this is the third, fourth Iona card that we have gotten. We actually got the full art in uh, Paldean Fates the other the other opening. This is actually a really nice card. A little off center, but I I'm, I'm digging the vibes of this card. That's that's pretty awesome. Also, shout out to Jim Jim. Mm, 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 mm. Jim, for winning this Temporal Forces Booster Bundle, go ahead and send me a DM or send me, shoot me an email with your information. That way we can get this out to you, brother. Thank you so much. You know, you know, we, we, we love the card. You know, we wanted it, but we, we can't go out like that. We have to, we have to pop another one of these bad boys open. Hopefully, put one of these actual four main cards. The Cold Balling, the Iron Crown, Iron Leaves, uh, Walking Wake and the Raving Boat. Damn, this is... There we go. That was hard for no reason. I don't... I don't know what happened there. These actually are really cool. If you check this out... Nope. It's a whole new setup for the booster bundles. Like... Oh, wait. Is it backwards? Yeah, so check that out. It opens like that. Oh, that's cool. And it just basically just have like a, a little layout for them. It's not like the Crown Zenith one where you had the setup for having uh be able to just slide them out real quick let's see what we get here man ponita that's hot the full art is beautiful count cottony perilous jungle i lately i've just been reading the cards now just because i'm trying to see what would go well oof what is this oh wait a minute what the heck <laughs> we have an a spec and the full art saying ching 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 chino look at that what that okay so my theory has been proven you can get to, you can get to uh hits in one pack wow i have not had this good luck with the booster bundles at all so very impressed now that i uh sleeve those bad boys up that that's great First pack magic on the booster bundle is crazy. I did not see that coming at all. I have not had good luck with the booster bundles, especially with this set. I think I've gotten mostly like scissor EXs, which is not hitting well. Giraffe Ridge, um, Phasant, and Melmetal. Melmetal's alt art card, crazy. The, the artwork on that has been, it, the artwork in this Scarlet and Violet, I know we're not, 100% in love with the set yet are the this era cards. It's honestly one of the better Looking cards that I've seen so far uh, Pokemon stepped up their game and then Crimson Haze is coming. That's gonna be or not Crimson uh, Twilight Masquerade Twilight Masquerade is going to be a stellar pickup for anyone that's just in love with the Pokemon art I'm also going to be at the Orlando Regionals for Pokemon this coming weekend on the 14th or 13th or 14th? No, let me see. The April 12th to April 14th is going to be the Regionals. So if you're out there, come see me. Say hello. Stop by. Uh, maybe we can make a trade. And I got a couple of the Shark Bites. Take a wee! Whoa! 
No way! Okay! Alright! No freaking way! Look! I need to stop throwing those. <laughs> Look at that! We got both the evolution lines here. That's pretty sick. They go really well nice to really nice together. We're down to the last two packs, and honestly, they've been doing really well. I am surprised. I've honestly just had bad luck with booster bundles, but three three hits so far out of four packs that is a pretty pretty good pretty good odds if you ask me. Oh, nah, that could just be a hollow in there. Hmm. Sauce Buck. I like that name. Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Yeah, for Alligator. I knew it was for Alligator. The the cards for the staff promo that they use for Alligator for is sick. It's it's honestly really dope. But here we are, guys. Last pack magic, and it's a raging boat. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe, like the video, and for sure catch you guys on the next episode unless we pull the raging boat right now then i'm gonna quit then i'm just gonna leave the internet for good hopefully not tor twig shaman cypher maniacs code breaking i had to like slow down to say that vicka bolt snom zero aura and we're right on Guys, I will catch you on the next episode. If you are at Pokemon Regionals in Orlando, please stop by. I do have my stickers. I would love to give it to you guys. And hopefully we can trade some cards. Until then, I'll see you in one of these videos or on the next one.